we see in our Constitution clearly the enumerated powers and uh, the minimum powers to the federal government and the vast powers to the states, which has now reversed. And so now we see basically almost complete control from the federal government over all things. And if they don't like what the states are doing, they have been coming in and overturning those, either through the courts, uh, through legislation going through the uh, Congress. And so it almost feels like we're nullified ourselves. There's nothing that we can do that's binding anymore if it's something that the federal government doesn't like. Well, I had learned about this a while ago, and it seems to me uh, that this is a tool in the in the Article 5 is a tool in the Constitution that we aren't using. Uh, we've used it 27 times through Congress, but never has it been done through the states. And it was created for a time such as this. And so for us to not use it, to be afraid of it, would be basically saying, yeah, we believe in the Constitution, all of it, except for that one part. We're afraid of that one part. And, and we can't live our lives based off of fear and the what ifs. We have to be bold. Like the, like the people who wrote that Constitution were bold and had a lot on the line and the risks that they took. We have to do the same thing now. We are called to stand up as legislators and move forward with this effort to restore the sovereign state and the enumerated powers that come to us versus what in the hands of the federal government. You know, I support all the efforts um, getting us to an Article 5 convention on whatever topic it might be. And the Commission of States, to me, is the one that I've chosen to put my effort behind because although we, yes, we need a balanced budget, there are also other issues at hand. And I feel like a, they covers those issues, and B, we see the grassroots support and energy behind the Convention of States. And I want to do what the people are asking. The people have asked from the, the Convention of States folks, the grassroots efforts are all across this country, not just in Arizona, but it's a huge dynamic effort of the people. And so I'm a representative of the people. And that was one of the main reasons why I felt this is the effort to get behind because that's what's going to get us to 34 states. It's going to be not just us legislators, it's going to need the people and them getting out and contacting their legislators across the country. And I see that with Convention of States. It's amazing the energy that's behind this movement. And I believe in our people and I believe we're going to be able to pull this off. And so not only just the fact that we have several issues to address, but the fact that we have the power of the people behind it. You know, we've seen rules coming from all different angles, different groups. I think it's interesting. I, I appreciate what Convention of States has done as far as creating the rules because they have opened it up to the legislators indiscriminately. Any legislator who has decided to become a part of the caucus of the Convention of States can enter into the website, adjust the rules, and make recommendations without having to raise their hand, without having to send an email. It's just right there at their fingertips. And I think that's important because it, it, when, you, when you open that up and allow people to give their input, they have buy-in. And we have a lot of great minds across this country. And why wouldn't we be tapping into that? So I really appreciate the effort that they've gone to and what they've provided for us. And they've stepped out of the way and allowed for us to now build on what they put forth as they said a rough draft. We can now build on that. I think that's amazing.